This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Hi, good evening everyone. I'm Brandon Lee. Here are the latest stories we're tracking right now from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. We continue to see this spike in coronavirus cases right here in Arizona. And tonight the state is now seeing more than 400 cases with more than half confirmed right here in Maricopa County. So far, six people have died. And happening right now, it's a race to get ready. State Department of Health Services Director Dr. Kara Chris says the state is now expecting to see a surge of cases beyond our capacity. Arizona desperately needs to increase the number of beds available to treat people who are sick. We are talking about an additional 13,000 hospital beds and 1,500 ICU beds. Well, the governor is now expanding food stamp benefits in the wake of this pandemic. As part of the change, people would be able to pick up prepared hot meals from our grocery stores. He also wants people to be approved for the SNAP program more quickly without eligibility interviews. Arizona also got $5 million grant to expand meals on wheels delivery for mostly the elderly. Well, first responders, they still need our help tonight. Phoenix police organized this drive through supply drive where you can go and donate things like Lysol wipes, some hand sanitizer and toilet paper that you can find this drop off donation center over on Fish Street and Jackson. They're done for the day, but you can go back tomorrow and drop stuff off from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m. Royal. All right, Brandon, we had some clouds move in today and uh, tomorrow some changes. There is a wind advisory out for northeast Arizona. We could see some wind gusts in the range of 45 miles an hour up in the high country. Lots of clouds headed in right now. Uh, those clouds, though, don't have a whole lot of moisture. It looks like that moisture may arrive late in the day tomorrow or on Friday. So our forecast is pretty straightforward, mostly cloudy. Overnight low of about 57 degrees. Tomorrow, partly sunny on the mile side with a high of 72. We cool down to 64 on Friday. It's going to be breezy the next couple of days, but then check this out. We warm right back up. We're headed toward the mid 80s by the middle of next week. Royal, it sounds great, my friend. For updates on more of the stories we're following at this hour, you can always download our app and subscribe to our YouTube and our Roku channels. I'm Brandon Lane. Have a great night.